Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be making my own silicone mold. So let's get started. The silicone has a really strong smell, so you wanna make sure you have good ventilation. So I'm gonna open my window here. So I have my 100% sanitary silicone here. I've already punctured the end here. I have a Ziploc bag, some cornstarch, and some vegetable oil, just regular cooking oil. So I have my cornstarch here. I'm gonna just pour some in this bag, Ziploc bag. I'm not sure how much I'll need, but I'm just gonna coat the bag itself with the powder and I'll add more as needed. And then I have my silicone. Okay. I'll squeeze out the whole thing. I'm going to add more corn starch to that. Again, I don't know how much I need. So I'm just putting what I can in there. And I'm going to seal this thoroughly. I'm also wearing gloves, guys. Make sure I seal this thoroughly. And this is just one of the methods that I saw done that made it less messy. I'm gonna just jiggle the silicone around in the bag with the cornstarch. And then start to work the cornstarch into the, the silicone. ideas for it to just not be sticky and enough that I can knead it out like a dough. Alright, let's take a look and see what it's like right now. Alright. When the smell hits you guys, wow. Make sure you have good ventilation and keep a wet rag on hand to wipe away any messes. to the surface here. I just covered my desk with some plastic, heavy plastic. I'm just going to try to get everything out of the bag. it harden too much more so now I'm going to roll it out or should I say press it out and in the meantime I'm going to put what I'm not using 
wrap it up quickly in here. So, all right, so I'm going to press out and start getting my little objects. I have these, my gloves are pretty much broken, so I'm going to just take it off. Make it a little bit easier to work with, and I'll just wash my hands thoroughly. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my hands here, just as protection, coating. All right. So I have this home curtain clip. Push that in as best as I can. And as I think it'll be easier to work with, I'm gonna just use a plastic knife and just cut out that area here so I'm not wasting the silicone itself. So I'm going to just build it up around the object here. guys see try not to push it in too far otherwise it will come through the other side so you want to make sure it's thick enough it's very forgiving at this stage still so I'm gonna just rework it into a, an oval shaped ball and I'm going to flatten it And then I'm going to press down. Paying attention to the edges and making sure it doesn't come through on the other side. Thank you. 
guys so it's 24 hours later so i'm gonna just see how they look i think these pieces will have to be cut off the ones overlapping but i'm going to try to get it out without having to do that right now and also there are some pieces also of the silicone that are coming up through the holes that are help, helping to keep it steadily in place there. So I'm going to just pry that out there. So that's helping to keep it in place. So let's see what we have here. Okay. All right. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that or not. Um, it does say home here. Um, and it does have the outline of the butterfly definitely the shape of the heart i'm just going to have to clean this up just a little bit to make sure that when i apply my clay to that um, it'll be a little bit cleaner so we'll put that off to the side for right now this is the little button that i did in the end and you can see there it has it has a imprint of the pattern there okay let's put that off to the side we have the heart here perfect and the silicone is sort of bendy so i imagine if i bend it too much it would break but for the purposes of being tight and perfectly shaping the forms that we want it works really good now i'm going to do this one this piece came off really easily here but that was just to keep this in place here and i'm really curious to see okay so here i don't know if you can see guys the detail of the lines here the pieces of wire and it has a shape of it um, i'm not sure how much detail i'll get because this piece was actually not flat it was sort of floating so okay and here we have the rose candle this one was really 3d so i'm super curious to see how this one works um, i'm trying my best not to break the candle the candle itself is still intact it's just a red coating that came off so here you can see the imprint of the rose and what I'll do is just take a brush and dust that out to get all that residue out of there so next we have the 3d this one might be a little bit difficult only because it's it's fully on there um, this is a, the bottle cap that i wanted to create the fancy bottle cap using the top of this candy jar here um, i don't believe i'll be able to get get it off completely but let's see if i pry it maybe it comes off oh there we go it's loose it's loose and let's see if I'm able to just slip it out of there without breaking it. This is where it's tricky guys. I'm not a professional at this so bear with me. Ah, Okay so that's what that looks like. Just you can't see inside but I definitely feel all the indentations and all of that so i may have to end up slitting this to to make it work better but i'm going to just try it and see 
Okay. So next we have, oh, look at this, guys. This one worked really, really well. You can see every little detail of that. Okay, that worked really, really well. I'm very pleased with this. Okay, and obviously because this is more uh, of a flat object in general, um, it's easier to work with than the 3D ones. And we have our lady comes right out. Okay, there's no damage to the pendant itself. And as you can see here, very, very fine detail here. Okay. All right. So everything is looking good so far. What I'm going to do next is reveal the plaque that I did. All right. So I'm going to very, very carefully. This one is super tricky because I had to build up around it. So I don't want to break anything. I have a lot of overlap here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I may have to end up trimming it away, but let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I can slip this out beyond the overlap. And I'm just gently prying this off the black itself because it's had so much fine detail and I don't want to ruin the plaque itself. Okay, so the plaque is still intact, no issues here, thankfully. And look at this fabulous detail, guys. I don't know how well you can see that, but we'll look at that. The leaves, the orchids themselves, look at that. Look at that fabulous detail. So, and also on the side, the plaque had um, some nice detail here on the side. So I'm going to roll out some air dry clay, put them inside the molds and see what we get. <laughs> 